Hi, so my name is Linda Gale Becker. I'm a medical doctor with a specialization in infectious diseases, but I've spent most of my latter part of my career doing clinical research, particularly in HIV prevention. But of course, with the COVID epidemic, we've all uh, pivoted to COVID-related research, and my passion are ways to prevent uh, these infectious diseases. And one of the best ways to do that is with vaccines. Clearly, when you're dealing with healthy people who haven't yet actually got the, the problem, they're not sick, you want the risk to be as minimal as possible versus the benefit. Now, what I can tell you right up front is the COVID vaccines have great benefit. But it is important that people realize that there are some side effects that we have become aware of. We have the mild reactogenicity that we're not even going to discuss now. But the side effects that we've come to worry about with certain vaccines include an exceedingly rare clotting disorder. Um, and people can get these clots in quite large vessels. Uh, the unusual aspect is that other parts of their clotting system go down. Um, and so we are very clear at, uh, at what it looks like. We know um, what to expect and it's very treatable. Another condition people may hear about is uh, the, the risk of heart inflammation particularly around younger people. Again, very rare and generally doesn't concern even, uh, you know, the individual becoming ill, that we just become aware because uh, they have an ECG or because we are looking for this problem uh, post-vaccination. And the last sort of big group of side effects that I think have been in, in the news is uh, side effects related to neurological abnormalities. And here there's a particular condition called Guillain-Barre, um, where people have increasing weakness in their limbs. And now all three of these conditions occur under different conditions, uh, under circumstances. They're not specific to vaccines. And this is one of our problems with side effects, is we need to tease out how much of this is kind of normal ill health uh, versus what might be caused by vaccines. And in order to do that, we really need to collect the information and look at background rates of various conditions. And this is where, in the time of mass vaccine campaigns, it's very important we collect that data. And we are now at a point where billions of people have actually had a dose or two of COVID-19 vaccines. And so the good news is that uh, of the rare events that might be associated with the vaccines, these have only been discovered because we have rolled the vaccine out to millions and millions. So for example, that rare clotting disorder I mentioned, that occurs somewhere between three and 10 people per million vaccines administered. So these are exceedingly uh, rare events that may occur. Now we don't want to minimize them because if they occur, that means a lot to that individual. But it is important to weigh that up against the risk of actually getting COVID-19 and the more likelihood of having severe disease, including clots, as part of COVID-19, you know, are many, many fold higher than, than this very rare event that might occur as a result of vaccination.